everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I am going to be doing a best class setup for the ICR7 Mark II here on Black Ops 4 after update 1.16. So that's the thing guys, if you actually did not know, yesterday the time me making this video, Treyarch added in a brand new bundle into Black Ops 4 and it is actually the ICR bundle. And if you guys are wondering what you are going to be getting in this bundle, and that is, you are going to be getting 10 reserve drops, the ICR7 Mark II as well as the Mastercraft and Reactive Camo. If you played Black Ops 4 during Operation First Strike, you would know that this bundle is basically the rewards that you get for tier 200 and of course an additional 10 reserve drops. And if you want to go ahead and purchase this bundle, it is going to be costing you 2000 COD points. So of course guys, what I am going to be doing in this video, and that is going to be a weapon guide as well as a best class setup for the ICR-7 Mark II. Now that's the thing, I personally do not have the ICR-7 Mark II, so that means the gameplay that you are going to be watching is gameplay of me using the standard version of the ICR-7. Now you have to keep in mind that the differences between the ICR as well as the ICR Mark II are just cosmetic only, so that means you do not have any statistical advantage if you are going to be using the Mark II or the standard version of the weapon, so of course guys, if you are new to my channel and you don't know what I am going to be doing in this video, and that is at the beginning of the video, I am going to be discussing the ICR-7, then I am going to be moving over to a really awesome creative class that I have for the weapon, then finally I am going to be talking about a couple things that you want to know about the ICR before you go ahead and use it, and then of course at the end of the video, I am going to be doing a live commentary of me using this particular class set up in Black Ops 4. Also guys, to know about the gameplay, it is actually a game of TDM here on Nuketown. I end up going 37-7 and 7. overall, really awesome game in my opinion as well, as I actually end up going on a 16 or a 17 gun streak. Unfortunately, I died before I got the nuclear, however, it's not too big of a deal. Also guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it down below. Let's go ahead and see if we can break 10 likes on this video. That will be absolutely amazing. And yeah, guys, now that I got the intro out of the way, let's actually dive right into the video. Alright, so of course, the first thing that I am going to be talking about in this video, and that's going to be discussing the ICR-7. So of course, the ICR-7 is the first assault rifle that you unlock in the game, be it that you unlock the weapon at level 1. So as soon as you get access to create a class at level 5, you can immediately start using this weapon. The ICR-7 has good damage, as well as the fire rate on the weapon is actually quite good. However, the main strength of the ICR-7 is that the recoil on the weapon is basically non-existent, especially if you put on grip as well as grip 2. Interestingly enough, the ICR-7 is a very versatile assault rifle. Since it is of course an assault rifle, it means that it's going to be excelling at medium range. However, since it has basically no recoil, you can very effectively use it at longer ranges and interestingly enough, you can actually use it quite effectively at close range and the hip fire spread for the ICR-7 is actually quite decent, so it means that if you have to hip fire using this weapon, you can do it somewhat effectively. One very good attribute about the ICR-7 and that is you can take out head glitchers extremely easily. Very similar to the Swordfish Tactical Rifle, which I actually made a weapon guide video on that weapon not too long ago, so if you want to go ahead and check out that video, there will be a card on your screen right now. So yeah guys, now I am going to be moving over to the Creator Class portion of this video, and of course, as you can see, the Creator Class is going to be on your screen right now. So of course guys, starting off, we are going to be using the ICR-7 with that Dark Matter camo, and then for our first attachment, we are going to be using a red dot sight and that's just because since the ICR has basically no recoil once you have grip as well as grip 2 equipped, I will get to that a little bit later in this video, it means that you can be extremely precise with this weapon. So with that in mind, that's how come I am going to be using a red dot sight just so that way we can be a lot more precise when using this weapon and honestly I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights on this particular weapon, however the iron sights on the Mark II variation are actually pretty decent. So yeah guys, now we are going to be moving over to our second as well as third attachment and this is going to be grip as well as grip 2. Now that's the thing, the ICR-7 without grip as well as grip 2 actually has very low recoil, however, the weapon does end up shaking a little bit, so if you put on grip as well as grip 2, it's going to be reducing that shaking, in turn making this weapon way more accurate. And then for our final attachment, we are going to be using quick draw, just so that way we can get our iron sights up as quickly as we possibly can. For our piece of gear, we are going to be using stim shot, and then we actually have two perks, and our first perk is going to be scavenger, just so that way we do not run out of ammunition, and then ghost allows us to stay off the radar when there's a UAV up in the air. So yeah guys, that's going to be it for the creative class portion of this video. Now I am going to be moving over to a couple of things that you want to know about this creative class before you go ahead and use it. So that's the thing about the ICR-7 Assault Rifle. When you are going to be using it, try to stick to those medium to longer range engagements because those are the ranges where this weapon performs the best. When you are going to be using the ICR, try to aim for the upper body as well as the head because if you end up getting a headshot, you are going to be killing the opponent a lot quicker. So overall, the ICR is a very consistent 
Winston as the most powerful weapon in the game, and it's actually one of my favorite assault rifles. So yeah guys, that's going to be it for the weapon guide portion of this video. Now I am going to be moving over to a live commentary of me using this class set up in Black Ops 4. So yeah guys, enjoy the live commentary. So of course, hello everyone and welcome to the live commentary portion of this video. So guys, as you can see, this is the creator class that I am going to be using. And of course, we do have Dark Matter Camo. I'm not going to lie, Dark Matter Camo looks really awesome on the ICR-7. So that's how come, of course, we are going to be using it. And if you guys are wondering, as you can see over here, this is actually the ICR-7 bundle. And in this bundle, what you are going to be getting is 10 reserve crates as well as the Summon Mastercraft Camo for the ICR, the ICR-7 Mark II. And of course, finally, we actually get the Skull Cracker Reactive Camo. And if you want to go ahead and buy this bundle, it is going to be in the item shop for roughly six more days. And it is, of course, going to be costing 2,000 COD points. Now, interestingly enough, it was actually in the item shop for about five minutes on Tuesday at the time me making this video and on Tuesday it actually only costed 1,000 COD points as opposed to now where it actually cost 2,000 COD points. That's a little bit odd. However, nonetheless, now that I got the intro out of the way, I will see you when I join up into my first game. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our first game and this time we are going to be playing a game of standard TDM here on Seaside Sunset. So let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do. Alright, so of course, as you can see, this is actually the ICR-7 with that Dark Matter camo. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really awesome, especially in the lighting on this particular map. So as you can see, that looks really cool in my opinion. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some kills with this thing. All right, so starting off this particular game, my teammates are actually doing really well. And all right, guys, if you haven't already seen it, this is actually the Mastercraft camo for the ICR-7. So of course, if you haven't already seen the Mastercraft camo, this is what it looks like, honestly. It actually is a really cool Mastercraft camo in my opinion. Wait a second. Alright, there we go. We actually just got a kill with this particular ICR-7 Mark II. However, let's go ahead and switch back to my standard ICR-7 class. Alright, there we go. That's actually our second kill of the game. Wait a second. Remove. As well as another one. I'll definitely take that. If they keep spawning over there, we might be able to get some more kills. And wait a second. Alright, I thought I saw a person over there. Outright. There's another one. All right, guys. So, of course, as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our second game. And this time, we are going to be playing a game of Kill Confirmed here on Morocco. So, let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do in this game. All right, there we go. That's actually going to be our first kill of the game. Now, that's the thing. My teammate actually shot at that person a couple of times. So, I only need to put in one or two shots. And then, of course, I got the kill. And there we go. That's another one. And that's the thing. That person was actually using a shotgun. And there he is again. So we have to be pretty careful. Now that's the thing. Although I said this weapon is pretty decent at close range, it's not as good as a shotgun. And there's another kill. Right now we're actually doing pretty well. And wait a second. That person was actually spawning behind us. All right. So we unfortunately died. However, it's not too big of a deal. Right now I'm actually going nine and one. That's actually quite good. And there's another kill. Wait a second. All right, there we go. That's actually a double kill. I'll definitely take that. I actually spawned behind them. So I was able to get those two kills pretty easily. All right, there's another kill. I'll definitely take that. Wait a second. My Seeker is actually stunning the person below. Oh my goodness. I didn't know Seeker drones could even do that. And all right, there we go. That's our UAV. And there's another kill. I'm actually on a Bloodthirsty. And we just got a counter. As well as my teammates are actually doing really well. They just called in a Sniper's Nest. And there's another kill. That was actually really close. So the person actually had a shotgun. So I'm very lucky that I was, of course, able to get that kill. There's another one. All right, so we unfortunately died. However, I just got my sniper's nest, which was really good. Similar to yesterday's video, it would really sucked if I died one off my sniper's nest. However, fortunately enough, that didn't, of course, happen. And all right, my teammate actually got a strike team as well. So once their sniper's nest goes away, I'm, of course, going to be calling in mine. Wait a second. Looks like there's actually another person down there. There's another kill. As well as another one that was really close. As well as another one. Okay, we're actually doing really well over here. All right, guys. So, of course, that's going to be the game. I'm going 50 and 9. Overall, really awesome game in my opinion, and I will definitely take it. And I actually got the play of the game. So, let's go ahead and watch this.
Alright guys, so that's where I'm going to be ending off this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well. As make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss new upload from me. Again guys, this was the creative class I used for this video. So yeah, that's of course going to be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.